The Karnataka High Court says no further investigation is needed in the wealth case against Chief Minister Jayalalitha. DMK MP Karnimuri files another bail plea before the special court in Delhi. Her application will come up on the 1st of October. The DMK voices its pleasure over not being uh, consulted by the centre on the sudden we fuel price hike. The, any rise in the LPG uh, cylinders. Further, we have the, the tweet, uh, uh, dual price policy also we are... He missed defeating DMK heavyweight MK Stalin, but Saida Idurai Sami gets his reward. The AIDMK feels him as a Chennai mayoral candidate. The chief, chief minister assures uh, protesting villagers that the Kudankulam nuclear plant is safe, requests them to break their fasts. Narendra Modi's three-day fast picks up a ton of criticism, but not from Jalalitha, sends two ministers to attend the fast. The railways question the hospitalised driver in the Arakonam train tragedy. A report on the collision will be submitted soon. More trouble for KN Nehru, the Vigilance and Anti-Corruption Department raids more properties of the former DMK minister. Welcome to Headlines Now. I'm Natasha Duray Swami bringing you the top stories from across the state. But first, a look at the national headlines now. After allies expressed their anger over the petrol hike, today's ministerial panel meet on LPG subsidies is postponed. And pay more for your home and car loans as the RBI hikes key rates by 0.25%. The Prime Minister says cross-border terror camps are being reactivated. There is no room for complacency in Jammu and Kashmir. Azaruddin's son, Ayazuddin, uh, dies in hospital. He was critical for several days following an accident on a motorbike. Rahul Dravid gets set to play his final one day of his career later today in the final match of the series against England. And the Karnataka Film Producers Association lifts an outrageous ban on actor Nikita uh, Tukral. Uh, she says she will think 100 times before acting with Darshan again. Our top story tonight in developments in the disproportionate assets case. It's a setback for Chief Minister Jayalalitha as the Bangalore High Court quashed further investigation in this case. DMK had opposed Tamil Nadu government's move to conduct further investigation with Anbargan, alleging that it was an attempt to destroy evidence with the prolonged investigation. Recently, the Supreme Court directed Jayalalitha to personally appear to record her statement in the case. And Radhika Ayer joined us uh, live uh, uh, to really tell us uh, what, an un what kind of an understanding we can get from the setback really against Chief Minister Jalalatha. It, uh, this has been a series of setback in the dis disproportionate associate case that, of course, the uh, Bangalore court is hearing here uh, in a special court. What has happened earlier was uh, there were two petitions. One, of course, uh, which uh, had uh, seeks that she be personally exempted from personal appearance in the court. That, of course, was rejected by the trial court, and then she moved the high court. And then the Supreme Court, which has directed her to appear before this very Karnataka court in Bangalore on the 20th of October. What had happened eventually in the dispropor disproportionate associate case is that uh, after about 14 years of investigation, once Jailalitha took over as chief minister, the vigilance department in Tamil Nadu had offered, had in fact proposed to um, reinvestigate this very case. And uh, that was seen as a tactic by the opposition to uh, cash in on that very point to say that that was a motive by the chief minister of uh, Tamil Nadu to try and fudge the matter. This is a setback because now the, the High Court here in Karnataka has said that the Vigilance Department of Tamil Nadu cannot probe the disproportionate assets case, which means that uh, there was one last hope by Ms. Jay Lalita that if her department, if her vigilance department had probed it, it might possibly come in her favor, but that is not going to happen now. So further investigations in the reprobe of the disproportionate assets case, which of course the Bangalore court is hearing, has been stalled, which means that uh, Ms. Jalalipa will have to appear on the 20th of October before a court here in Bangalore. Moving on to other news now, uh, DMK MP Kani Murray named as co-conspirator in the 2G scam today filed a fresh bail plea before a special CBI court in the capital after being denied bail earlier. And the hearing for this bail petition has been scheduled for uh, October 1st. Kani Murray's initial bail applications had been dismissed twice, which included the special leave petition before the Supreme Court. And the Apex Court had stated that the trial uh, court hearing the case will decide on their fresh 
bail applications after framing of charges without being influenced by rejection of their earlier applications. Kani Marie approached the CBI uh, special court today with, special, uh, with fresh uh, bail applications and uh, this will come up for hearing on October 1st. Well, the ally to the central government, DMK, is opposing the hike in fuel prices and have also chosen not to attend the empowered group of ministers meet that took place today. Sources say the DMK is upset that it was not consulted on the fuel price hike. The DMK is also unhappy with the dual pricing mechanism of uh, LPG cylinders. The empowered group of ministers met today under the chairmanship of the uh, finance minister Pranab Mukherjee to reduce the fuel subsidy burden of the government. However, DMK spokesperson TKS Ilangovan has said that the LPG price hike will hit the common man severely. Yes, we are, not, we are against the, any rise in the LPG uh, cylinders. Further, we have the, 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 the dual price policy also we are against this because a rise in the LPG prices will affect the lower middle class and poor families. So we don't want that. We have expressed our concern to the government that uh, this rise will definitely have an impact on the lower middle class and poor families of the society. No, we have not boycotted. We have expressed our uh, concern over the price rise and we said that we are not taking part. Uh, the meeting itself was deferred. See, uh, these uh, price, the increase in petrol prices will have a cascading effect on other commodities as well. So we want the government, with the inflation rate going up, we want the government to control inflation by not increasing the uh, prices of petroleum products because this will definitely have a cascading effect on other products. It, 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 see, we are now concerned about the economy. So the government should uh, prudently use their, uh, 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 their de decision uh, in giving uh, grants, subsidies. So petroleum products is where the subsidy is needed because any price rise, as I was telling, any rise in the petroleum products will have a cascading effect on other things. Well, setting the ball rolling for the local body polls due next month in Tamil Nadu, AIADMK Chief J. Jalalata announced the party's mayoral candidates for 10 corporations in the state, fielding six women in the fray. In a statement, she announced the candidates nominating uh, Saidai Durai Sami for Chennai. He had lost against DMK treasurer and former Deputy Chief Minister M.K. Stalin in the closely fought April 13th Assembly polls. Durai Sami had uh, already challenged Stalin's election in the court. Well, on the other hand, uh, V.V. Rajan Chellapa has been nominated as the mayoral candidate for Madurai. The current term of the DMK-dominated local bodies ends in October. Well, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jalalata has said that uh, Kudankulam nuclear plant is safe. Uh, she has asked villagers on hunger strike to give up their fast. Around 10,000 villagers on hunger strike demanding closure of the plant, citing safety reasons. Um, reasons. They also are uh, mounting, uh, mounting pressure on the Tamil Nadu Assembly to pass a resolution in their support. This is the first nuclear plant that's uh, nearing completion after the disaster at the Fukushima plant in Japan in the aftermath of a massive earthquake that led to the evacuation of thousands of Japanese from the near uh, the stricken nuclear plants. This 1000 megawatt reactor of which two are nearing completion are being made using Russian technology. However, the Department of Atomic Energy insists the plants are completely safe. Now, while Narendra Modi's three-day fast, which starts tomorrow, has been provoking a big debate and on some platforms much criticism, however, not from Jayalalitha. Well, that's not all. In fact, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu has actually deputed two senior leaders, Tambi Durai and uh, Maitreyan, from AIDMK to attend the first day of Modi's fast in Ahmedabad. Now, while already behind bars on a land-grabbing case, former DMK minister and former transport minister K.N. Nehru seems to have a further blow coming his way with the Directorate of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption conducting raids at his properties as well as his brothers in Trichy with regards to a disproportionate assets uh, case uh, or rather complaint against K.N. Nehru. 
Now, the initial probe into the tragic Arakonam train collision that claimed 10 lives began today. The hospitalized driver, Raj Kumar, is said to have been questioned as his statement was recorded. His actions have come under the scanner after the preliminary report suggested human error. The Commissioner of Railway Safety said that all the evidence and witnesses will be examined and questioned and a report on the collision will be submitted soon. The Southern Railway had uh, asked the public to come forward and give as much evidence uh, till tomorrow if they have any knowledge relating to the accident on Tuesday when the mainline electrical multiple unit train rammed into a stationary passenger train. Well, acting on specific inputs that some massage and beauty parlours are used for prostitution, the anti-vice squad of the Chennai police raided massage and beauty parlours in the city. 14 pimps have been arrested. 21 young girls who were forced into prostitution rescued and sent to the government home in Mylapore for rehabilitation. Greater Chennai Police Commissioner J.K. Tripathi has, have warned uh, strict action against such massive uh, Massage parlors active in the city. Now, three passport seva kendras uh, were uh, launched in Sali Gramam Chennai today. Sri Muktesh Kumar Padeshi. IFS Chief Tra Passport uh, Officer launched the Passport Seva Kendras. Now the various services like enquiry, online filing of data and online police tracking was inaugurated. It is a rather unique e-service uh, for the public that's meant to reduce the queue at the passport office so as to deliver passports in a quick and effective manner. Uh, the passport applicant has to take an appointment through online. Uh, there is a portal, passportindia.gov.in. In that, the appointments will be given. Already, we started giving appointments uh, since today. The, um, from 19th onwards, they will get appointments. On the date of appointment and time of appointment, they have to come to the PSKs for submission of applications, where the applicant's fingerprints, fingerprints, fingerprinting will be taken, and uh, the scanning of documents will be done. Then it will go to the verification officer and granting officer, for granting of the passport. Sir, so how many days will it take to process? It is like, for example, Tatkal cases. Tatkal cases require three working days. And uh, if, if uh, the police verification is required in, the, required, in uh, required cases, after the police verification comes, we will immediately receive a passport. Coming up on the other side, certainly a story that will interest you, the viewer. It's not just the common man who is up in arms against the fuel price hike. Allies of the government too are feeling the pinch. More on this on the other side.